Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome back to a new Ninjago Season 11 discussion video here on the channel. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about convenient plot devices. Now, Season 11 is by no means a very solid Ninjago season. The Fire Chapter definitely had some issues, but the Ice Chapter is supposedly better. Or at least I heard some good things about it, but it's kind of disappointing in all honesty. At least some of it is. Some aspects of the writing, I think, could be tweaked a little bit. I mean, I'm kind of a writer myself and I can tell when some something is kind of forced into the actual narrative, and that is the whole subject in Season 11 of the Traveler's Tree. So let's go ahead and talk about what this is. So essentially in some of the newer Ninjago episodes, Cole was feeling guilty because he lost the Traveler's Tea, and the ninja have no way of getting back home. And what do you know, there's a tree in the Never Realm that can supply the necessary ingredients used to make another batch of Traveler's Tea. Who would have thought, right? Again, this is kind of convenient, and I'm not really going to be, I guess, putting this past Ninjago, especially during Season 11. Ninjago's always been full of, I guess, kind of minor cliches and kind of, you know, conveniences, again. So this really isn't surprising, but, I mean, now we know how they're going to solve that problem, right? I mean, unless the tree is destroyed somehow, then I can definitely see that being, you know, relevant. I can see maybe if the tree is destroyed, then things will be better again, because the Traveler's Tree, as it is, probably will get the ninja back home which that was kind of an obstacle that the ninja had to face and now it's kind of easily given to them it's like there wasn't really a consequence for losing the traveler's tea in the first place because you know there's just a new batch right there waiting for them and i don't really mean to sound overly critical in this video but it's kind of obnoxious when you know conveniences are laid out for the sake of moving the plot forward it's almost like it's not really that creative in a way and i do appreciate a lot of the writing in ninjago don't get me wrong a lot of it's probably my favorite aspects of writing in any sort of media especially Especially during the original seasons, but it seems like season 11 is kind of taking a step back from this a little bit more and is kind of, I guess, a little too easy. I, I understand them trying to, you know, appeal to a younger kind of Ninjago demographic with season 11, but that doesn't mean that you need to neglect actual, I guess, decent writing tropes. Again, I'm not dissing the actual writing of season 11 as a whole. I'm just saying some aspects, especially things like this, kind of could be worked a little bit differently. I feel like maybe if less conveniences were given to the actual story as it is, maybe Ninjago Ninjago would come off as a better series overall. I mean, season 11 definitely has received a lot of criticisms from basically everyone. A lot of people have their own issues with season 11, and this right here is something that I can't really ignore. Again, conveniences are fine. As long as something later on in the story rewrites that convenience and makes it not relevant to the actual story, then I'm fine with it. If the Traveler's Tree gets destroyed and they still don't have a way to get back home, terrific. Then I'm all for that. Maybe the Ice Emperor kind of decides, hey, the ninja are trying to get back home. I don't like that. I'm going to go destroy the Traveler's Tree, that way they don't have any way to get back home. They're permanently stuck in this realm. Of course, I am expecting the ninja to go home somehow, but not through this. Again, it's almost like the Traveler's Tea being lost didn't really have any consequence. And I'm always a big fan of, if you're going to introduce something in your writing, make sure the consequences stick, and if you're going to try to reverse that, reverse it in a way that actually makes sense for the plot. In other words, try to be as less convenient as possible. If you can write yourself into a bad situation, then it should take a lot of effort to try to go ahead and rewrite yourself out of that situation. Consequences should be had, and actual things in the story, if they happen, they should have some sort of long-lasting effect. Not, hey, let's go ahead and get rid of the Traveler's Tea, only for the ninja to conveniently find something in the exact same place that they are to get back home that way. It just kind of comes off as not really too creative, and I feel like maybe something else could have been done here that could, I guess, keep the consequences of losing the Traveler's Tea around because we found out that's a big deal with Cole and if Cole's, I guess, sort of uh, inner personal turmoil was kind of just rewritten randomly here with the introduction of the Traveler's Tree, then yeah, it's kind of not very good in my opinion. <laughs> Again, this video isn't trying to come off as overly cynical of the actual writing. I'm not trying to be super critical of season 11 in any way. I'm just saying some things like this are kind of hard to ignore, especially where I'm coming from. I kind of do some writing myself, so it just comes off as a little strange. I can't really not ignore it. But thank you for watching this video nonetheless. Hopefully I didn't sound like too much of a you know, of a you-know-what. I don't know if I'm allowed to swear in this video without getting demonetized yet, but we'll find that out very soon. But let me know down below in the comments what you think about this. Is this a little too convenient for them to just introduce the Traveler's Tree just randomly into the story to kind of rewrite their own mistake, or do you feel like something else will happen later down the line that will kind of squash this false hope? Let me know what you think down below in the comments. I look forward to reading what you guys come up with. With that being said, you guys, it'll just about do it for this video here. Thank you so much for watching this one. If you enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up rating, and of course, 
course, remember to hit the subscribe button if you've not done so already. Once again, guys, the comment section is there for the various discussions that you would like to have regarding this topic, or if you just had a comment of a general nature, that's fine as well. In the description, you'll find the links towards my other forms of social media, whether it be my Twitter, my Instagram, my Patreon, or my merch. Be sure to support me on all those platforms if you would like to. With all that being said, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, my name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.